All right, well, as you all might know, I'm a bit of a getting things done. Well, wacko, actually. Um, once I get started in David Allen's book, I never really finish it. I usually end uh, at the half of it or something like that. Um, because I'm always really focused on tools and creating lists and getting stuff, well, not really done, but procrastinating like, like a fool, like we all do, I think. But, well, here's a new thing. Um, I found vitamin R, it seems to be around for quite a while, but version 2 just got launched pretty recently, I guess. Um, and I'd like to show you around what it actually does. Um, pretty, pretty mind-boggling, actually, because it showed me that I don't really do any serious work for more than two hours every day. Which is, well, I thought it should be around four or five, but two? Two is really low. But, well... It gets my stuff done pretty fast, actually, so. Let's have a look around. I'll just move my face out of the video because it just don't. Um, it really don't. Gives any extra added value to this video, so. Moving up. Well, here's vitamin R. Um, it's really small app. It hides in your menu bar up top here. And actually does nothing else. There's a really convenient shortcut key, which is... Command R, and uh, now it's Control R actually. Um, that actually pops it up when I need it. Um, still in my trial day ten, and I use it on very different locations, and actually syncs quite nice using Dropbox. So let's get started with the settings option, which is pretty pretty extensive actually. Um, you can actually edit everything you actually need or don't want to see. Um, and there's several steps when you get into a workflow that you can hide and don't use or do use. Has some shortcuts to start a time slice. It's a bit based on the Pomodoro method. You could actually use that if you want. Um, using vitamin R, it's okay. Um, there's some not notifications when it gets started. It actually ticks every two minutes. Uh, so you know you have to be doing your work. Uh, there's a now and later board you can use to scribble, uh, so scribble some stuff in if you need it. It integrates pretty well with things and OmniFocus and the hit list if you need it. Um, I can actually drag my, I'll show it later to you. I can drag my to-dos in vitamin R and it actually completes them automatically when uh, time slots get done and I set it as completed. Um, some miscellaneous options, always nice to... Put in a different logo in your menu bar if you need it. And there's Cloud Sync using Dropbox, so I can actually sync my logs when I'm at work or when I'm at home. It's really convenient for me. Um, there's an option, I'll show you that later. When you have some apps open, you can actually um, let Vitamin R close those apps for you once you get started with work again. So it's convenient for our Twitters out here. And there's an update option, of course. Um, but that's it. Let's get started. And you can see my bars here. If I drag over it, you can see on last Friday, I was a bit distracted for a whole period. It was good focused, highly focused. There's even a, a bit red. It's experienced flow. And it feels like a bit floating to me, like a hippie that's in flow. So it's not really my cup of tea at all. Um, it works. When I press Command Enter, actually... Sets me to the next step and it's pretty easy. So what's next? You can take a break uh, like we should. Most people should after like 45 minutes of work. You should really take a break for at least 5 or 10 minutes. You can do the timed. So it'll start a timer for the time being. You can do it an open-ended break and it just will hide itself. And it's up to you to re-invoke uh, vitamin R again. Or you can go straight to the next time slice. Let's get started with that. Um, I'll clean it up for a bit. Open up things um, and create a to-do in that. That will let me publish this piece of video. All right, I'm gonna drag it in. Um, it's a link to the to-do as well, so I can always uh, uh, re-invoke it again if it's needed. I'll press continue, and actually what you can do is uh, add tags and stuff and make it bold and make it all shiny and if you really like that. Um, you can also add recent tasks or just some default stuff. Um, don't usually use that actually. I'll just use things and then hide it again and well, 
be done with it. Um, this is the eliminate distraction stuff. So once you have a whole list of uh, apps that are still open, especially when you're doing some design stuff, like Photoshop and uh, Espresso, which I use for coding, you can actually quit it just from this app, and it's pretty convenient actually, so you won't get distracted at all, especially when using Twitter or Facebook, that kind of stuff. You can automatically hide those, and it can also close all your open final windows if needed. So you'll keep it really clean and tidy. Um, I'll press continue. I can choose a time, like 10 minutes. I'm entering this using my keyboard. I just use a default setting. You can drag it as well. As you can see, it integrates with my calendar pretty neatly as well. So you can see, well, I have like 39 minutes till the end of a meeting or start of a new one. So I can actually set the time slice just for that. And it's pretty, pretty nice to use it that way. Um, I press start. Oh, well, there he goes. You can see the timer in the top right corner of my taskbar. It counts down there, and as said, it ticks every two minutes or so to remind me that I should be at work. Um, especially uh, the, the, well, I should say, the Generation C kids like me. I'm almost 30, but still feel a bit like a kid or easily distracted thanks to Facebook and Twitter and that kind of stuff. And vitamin R really keeps me on the path of clearing my things and actually doing stuff that's useful. Okay, well, I should be uploading uh, this stuff now. And well, let's just simulate that I'm done. I can invoke it again using the command R. Um, and I'll just put on finish and it'll say, yeah, you're done. Well, it didn't. Um, now I can choose how I felt. And there's a little small option with uh, concentration level and it should tell, me, tell you more. And I can actually say, well, I felt highly focused and just press continue. And the log is completed, so I'll automatically put this in my logbook of things, uh, for things. It will disappear in things as well. You can see, well, I'm done for today because it's Thursday today. Press continue again, and the thing goes on and on and on and on. Um, it really, really helps me get stuff done, and that's the most important thing of a tool like this. I've tried a lot, Pomodoro timers, stopwatches, real like real life alarm clocks, and all that kind of stuff, but it usually just doesn't fit really into my workflow. Vitamin R does that pretty well and I'm, well, well, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I think it costs around 20 bucks to buy it. Um, it should be a bit cheaper in uh, Europe if, you, uh, if you'd like to buy it right here. I can really I recommend this tool to, um, uh, for especially for people that are more into the getting things done method than um, just for basics. If you're in the basics, just, well, Let's get a stopwatch or a timer or this integrates really well in the workflow with uh, with Mac OS X. So for more for advanced users, but well, just give it a go if you want to. You can download it here from the comments if you'd like. Um, and leave your comments if you've got some different tool that works just as well or better. I'd really hope to hear from you. Thanks.